Hi kids. Okay. Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Uh from 2004. Next in our mustache movies. Of course, Ron Burgundy's mustache. News anchors. Gotta talk about that. Uh so uh Will Farrell and Adam McKay were working at Saturday Night Live uh when they decided to team up and write something together. They wrote a screenplay called August Blowout, uh, which has been described as uh, Glen Gary, Glen Ross, a car dealership, uh, which reportedly everyone liked. Everyone thought it was funny. Um, Lauren Michaels thought it was funny. Paramount bought the rights to it. Didn't do anything with it. Uh, nobody would make it, even though they thought it was funny. Uh, so then... Next step is Paul Thomas Anderson. We talked about in the Boogie Nights video. Um, he was doing a guest stint as a writer for a week on Saturday Night Live. He also liked August Blowout. He told them that they should just write whatever they want. Don't worry about whether anyone will like it. And he will help them get it greenlit. So they write Anchorman. Uh, initially, Anchorman was very different. Uh, changes through rights, rewrites, and then also through the edit. Uh, a film that's not its final form until the edit. Uh, so initially, the idea was that there was a convention of anchormen. They all got on a plane to go to the convention. The plane crashes, crashes with another plane in the mountains. There was a plane full of anchormen. The other plane was full of orangutans and throwing stars. Orangutans are hunting down the anchormen, throwing stars. So that was the first version of Anchorman. As I said, went through some rewrites. Um, eventually, we get Judd Apatow coming on as the producer. Apatow, this is a pre 40 year old virgin. Not a lot of success in the film industry yet or in general. Um, had written some things, uh, had some directed some things, uh, but none of them really made a big impact in the box office or critically. Um, had worked in television more successfully, was part of Freaks and Geeks, was just coming off his Fox series Undeclared, two seasons and cancelled. Uh, so, Apatow is the producer. Uh, David O. Russell is also a producer on Anchorman. Uh, so film had, as I said, multiple different storylines that were cut. Uh, the most or the biggest of those is a storyline involving a group of hippie bank robbers uh, called The Alarm Clock. Uh, the members featured uh, Chuck D, Maya Rudolph, and Kevin Corrigan. Uh, that was cut, and then that became the uh, Wake Up Ron Burgundy bonus movie. It's funny, the Anchorman, the film itself, is 94 minutes. Wake Up Ron Burgundy, the cut stuff that they assembled into another film, 93 minutes. So they filmed a lot of stuff. Uh, part of Apatow's uh, improvisational structure. And then, of course, uh, working on the film, working with Steve Carell, when Apatow decides to write a film for Steve Carell, 40-year-old virgin, uh, we launch a good 10 years of uh, Apatow comedies. Mid-budget comedies are a thing again for about 10 years, and uh, they're dead now, maybe? Maybe they'll come back. What do you think? Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Stay classy.